You know, back to sleep. Yeah. Good morning, NYC. Let's go. I am so obsessed with this New York apartment. Like waking up and walking up this stairway to my New York apartment. I'm like, wait, this is everything. I stayed up so late last night. There's such a different culture here in terms of like weekday vibes. Like I feel like, well, I mean, forget about Arizona. The weekdays there are like not a thing, but here it does not matter if it's Monday, if it's Tuesday, if it's Wednesday, like people are not afraid to go out. So I've been taking full advantage of that, honestly. And I've been going out, it does not matter what day of the week. And it's been fun. Yesterday I went to STK for dinner, insert pictures and videos with my friend who I haven't seen in years and we grew up together. This is gonna be voiceover, just smile. Beautiful. It doesn't matter. <laughs> hey! Can you take me? You should take me. Um, 87th and first. Street. And first? It's crazy that everything is like, Get in the car. Street. Okay. Yeah, baby. Yeah! 87th and first. 87th and first. I feel like Borat. <laughs> she sent me all these throwbacks and I am dead. morning. Cheers. I got my cup of joe. I have been having way too much fun in New York City. I can't. I cannot believe it. I usually like love going to cities or whatever, but it's New York City for me. I've been having the best time here. I'm like, shut up. Maybe I'm a city gore. No, but seriously, I think when Arizona continues to be boiling in the summers, I think I'm going to start coming here. Like the clouds are moving so fast right now. It always freaks me out when the clouds move like this. Have you ever seen the conspiracy? I get bored and I do a lot of questionable things online. But have you ever seen the conspiracy theories that like the weather's fake or whatever? <laughs> or do we have different different algorithms? But that's one of my favorite rabbit holes to go down. Anyways, good freaking morning, y'all. What's tea? What's good? Where in the world are you? Let me know where you are. I, the last video I was like, where in the world are you? I got so many fun comments. Lots of Australians in there, lots of Americans in there. Lots of people in Portugal. What is it with Portugal these days? I feel like Portugal is that bitch for whatever reason. Which is tea too, because you see the pictures of them. Oh my god, I will actually die if there's somebody watching me film a vlog. Somebody's watching me film a vlog from their balcony. Hey! Okay. I can't. We are moving. Nobody does a bagel like New York City. This is from yesterday, so hopefully it's still good. But since it's tuna, it's questionable. Oh no, she's there. Mmm. Ew, wait. Mm -mm. Ew. Uh-uh. No, no, no. I'm gonna have to go get another bagel, but it'll be a fun field trip for us. Nobody does bagels like New York City, but what the hell? I went the other day with Henny and we got one, uh, what is it, bacon, egg, and cheese bagel, one tuna bagel, and a black coffee, and it was like 40 bucks. And I'm like, what is it with this inflation? But that's not why we're here. We're here for a morning routine. So let's not talk about the real stuff of the world. <laughs> Before it gets too sad. These have been my New York shoes. I was embarrassed in these for a little while because I got them on Go and like obviously New Balance 550s. I was so late to the trend. And like the only ones they had that weren't a million thousand dollars were with this black thing. And when I got them, I was like, wait, they kind of give me like little kid shoe energy and I hated them. But now they have grown on me. Do you remember what street the bagel place was on? Tall's Bagels or how I get there? Yeah, I want to get there without looking at the map. Just go up the street to 87th, right? Okay, we'll go all the way down 87th to 1st. Go up 87th. Just look at this map real quick. I know, I just walk, so I walk out of the building and make a right. It's so not the vibe here to like be on your maps looking at where to go. You have to know like, okay, I'm on this street and then I make a right on that street because the only people looking at their maps here are tourists and I'm not trying to be a corny dead giveaway tourist. I'm trying to blend in with the locals, you feel me? So I'm about to make a Right, make it to first street, make a left. Hopefully, I can make it. 
with no map. I love walking around New York City. Like being able to walk to the gym in the mornings and not be part of the morning routine was everything. Like I don't, I'm not used to that at home. I like drive to the gym. So going on my little walk through the city in my little <laughs> Spider-Man glasses and my new balances made me feel cool. Like it literally made me feel like a cool New York a girl. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I went and I got my bagel. Let me tell you something about these tuna bagels though. It's inflation. Like inflation is inflationing. I'm like, senora. Like I could have these every single day. I know it's gross. Or like I know a lot of people think it's gross because like I feel you tuna breath, not the vibe, but it's just so good that I cannot resist it. Anyways, I went to Equinox and I saw a TikTok about how Equinox for New Yorkers is actually worth the money. Even though it's like $300 a month, which is wildly expensive people figure out a way to make it work because there is one of these equinoxes everywhere like any little corner in new york city has an equinox they basically like own the city and it's super handy and super practical and super worth it for new yorkers because no matter where you are in the city you can go take a shower you can go change your clothes you have access to these clean bathrooms that end up being super convenient like if you're on the other side of town and you need to get dinner at eight and you have your stuff with you like boom if you go to equinox in la it's purely a bougie choice because there's so many other amazing cheaper great gyms but i feel like a new york equinox moment is way more practical anyways i did my 12 3 30 every day almost in new york and it felt so amazing and for the most part the gyms were like pretty empty every day so it was great i felt like the queen of the world did my 12 3 30 i got a bunch of tiktoks and a bunch of reels for the 12 3 30 instagram which you should follow by the way oh and while i was doing it i noticed like three people around me doing it too and i was like this is real this is me i'm exactly where i'm supposed to be yeah like uh look at me i'm such a new yorker watching the news or whatever they put on their Equinox TVs, but like, ugh, I miss Equinox. When I lived in LA, this was such a routine for me. It was like 12, 3, 30, steam room, wet towel. Like, you know how they have those like little wet towels with the cucumber, whatever it is, amazing. Then I shower, I blow dry my hair. And you know how they have that bougie like Kiehl's products everywhere? Then I just lather myself in those Kiehl products. Amazing, such a little spa therapeutic moment for me and then I'm ready to just go and conquer my day. So I ended up going to Governor's Ball which is a music festival. This is Mitchell. He's a celebrity hairstylist. I was like stalking him on Instagram the day he came to do my hair. Tell me why he's done like every major celebrity. I was like this definitely feels like I'm a charity case for him today. He did such a cool look. It was like this wet crimpy moment and it really gave because it was a festival though i wanted to make it a little bit more creativo so we decided to add these green tassels in the hair which were super fun for a festival because i feel like a like a wet crimpy moment for a music festival without anything else would be a little lackluster so the green was definitely a choice and it was super fun it was giving budget like wow it looked so legit and like this is my little dress it was like this mesh dainty little dress that you probably saw in the styling video it had this open back detail and like the way that the mesh sat on the body was super nice because it like highlighted like the little details of like my tummy it was giving it was giving it was giving and then we headed to governor's ball i felt like the oldest person there like legitimately everybody was like in middle school and high school which is just like fun and cute to see what the teeny boppers are doing these days so we went with ogx and i had to get a picture like for the brand deal so we were looking around and trying to find like what the spot is to get this picture honestly i feel like i kind of served it up because like the vibes were very y2k with like all the activation that they did so it was easy for me to like get an iconic picture because they provided like such good picture zones and this is gov ball it was like a music festival for whatever reason i thought it was on an island like i thought it was on governor's island and like we fully thought we were gonna have to take a ferry to get into there but that was not the case we just took a quick little uber and they had this cool viewing area like upstairs where you could see the performances and it was everything here's me taking my pic and then tovlo went on and she flashed the entire audience which was definitely a choice for an event that was so teeny bopper heavy but the crowd went wild and it was a great performance actually i don't think i've ever seen her live and it was good it was like i'm a cool girl i'm a i'm a cool girl like it was it was good it has been so good being home with miss mo 
she missed me so much when i tell you that she freaked out when i got home i was like yes girl give me all the love and validation that you loved me as a mother <laughs> um but yeah this is gonna be a full series on my channel tomorrow i have another video coming from new york i'm just very obsessed with new york city and like highly considering going there like way 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 more often so if you live for the nyc content let me know and honestly buckle up because i'm about to unload a lot of nyc moments don't forget to subscribe illy